just in case you're gonna try to cheat and get to the planet of trials early with the flying suit, this is what would happen if you tried that. Get on the flying suit, get the camera to cooperate, and look, it's right there, right? WRONG! Yep, there is an invisible wall there that prevents you from getting to the planet of trials with the flying suit. Hey everybody, it's the McMaster 14. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we completed the last dome star. And we start here on the planet of trials with the yellow section. In this episode, we're going to be finishing up the planet of trials. And we're going to be starting off with the green section and the bubble blast galaxy. I swear, wasn't that the name of another galaxy like in the kitchen? Or no, that was the bubble breeze galaxy. Yeah, not confusing at all. And we have the electric labyrinth. And this is really funny, but when I was younger, I used to always pronounce that word labyrinth. I swear, I used to always say, like, labyrinth. Because doesn't it look like it's, it's supposed to be pronounced labyrinth? No? Alright, maybe I just need to get a better vocabulary. Uh, anyway. In here... We have to start off by collecting five star chips. And in case you couldn't see from the center platform in those pipes, there's one star chip in each in each of those five sections. And yeah, in case you haven't noticed by now, we have to get them via bubble. So yeah. In each of these five sections, there's going to be a star chip that we're going to need to make a launch star. Okay, random star bit out of nowhere. This shiny boy. Another set of coins. Most of the shiny boys in here will actually give you coins, which... Yeah. I'm actually starting to figure out why they haven't been... They, ha they didn't add 100 coin missions in this game, because I guess... I guess if you were doing a 100 coin mission in this game with the checkpoints and stuff, then it would be kind of tedious to always... So always keep restarting the mission you were doing j just to get another shot at getting 100 coins. Anyway. You just want to be really careful here. And by the way, this thing is now, this might as well be a daredevil run. Like, this mission, this might just as well be a daredevil one. Because, well, you couldn't see that black hole that's been completely terrorizing me. You fall into that, well, if you get hit by anything, your bubble will break and you'll fall into that black hole. Because apparently being in a bubble prevents you from falling in black holes. Alright, there's one more There's one more check Cause, yeah, I, I guess this bubble might Might just be made of snot I'll explain that later In this section there is a 1-up that you that you can get, like maybe you'll want to come here first to get that 1-up and like infinitely retry. Alright, let's take it slowly. I don't want to fail now that I've gotten all the star chips. Alright, good. I'm sure why I'm still collecting star bits and... I just missed this game or anything. I don't know, I'm not really sure why they put those two planets there, because you don't actually ever visit them. I mean, I, I guess that means that you know, originally this mission was planned to have other areas besides just blowing around in a bubble. Because those planets, they, they look like they were intended to actually be walked on. And yeah. yeah. By the way, most of the stuff you don't have to worry about. Like, if you blow into these cages, then they don't actually pop your bubble. These metal balls don't pop your bubble. You know, they should. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that was kind of bad. 
Both bills will definitely pop your bubble. So yeah, you do want to go kind of fast here. And I accidentally got that one. Like look, I have like three, four bullet bills, five bullet bills. No! Dang it, I was so close. I mean, luckily there's a checkpoint right here, because if you didn't get a checkpoint right here, then that would just be mean. Uh, if you go fast, most of the time you can just get out of the way of those bullet bills before they see you, but that's only if you're going fast. I hope that bullet bill isn't following me. I'm not sure why these electric, why these fences aren't getting electrocuted because they definitely look like they're made of metal and they're touching stuff that is like electrified. Oh, and luckily these these little fence things act as barriers from the bullet bill because if a bullet bill touches one of them, then they just explode. Okay, so I have two bullet bills, three bullet bills, four bullet bills, five bullet bills, two bullet bills, seven bullet. No! What?! Okay, I hope I don't run out of lives here. Luckily this first section is kind of easy. Actually, I think in my practice run of this level, I think I actually did better. In my practice run, I only failed once on this level, but now I'm failing twice. Alright, luckily that bullet bill exploded. Alright, I'm getting that one up. Sorry about the lack of commentary, just trying to concentrate. Yeah! Get wrecked, bullet bills! You're a match for the power of the snot bubble that's mightier than black holes! That really needs a sure name. How about the mighty black hole resistant snot bubble? Anyway? We only have one more star to get before we can go to the center of the universe. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to be getting that star. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna end the video after like... After like six minutes. We're going to head to the last area. Wanna go to the loop de swoop galaxy? Anyway, sounds like a really cool galaxy. We have the galaxy's greatest way. I mean, I guess some of those things are technically waves. I mean, I guess it. Yes, it's definitely a mighty wave. Oh, 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 sorry, not a mighty wave, a great wave. But anyway, we talk to this guy. You again? Back from our race series? This course is a monster! You sure you wanna try it? Okay then, you got three minutes to get back here. Stay calm and just enjoy the surf. Yep, we have more race surfing. And now, if you remember, well, you probably don't because that was a long time ago. We actually had race surfing back in the first dome. Now, that course is, was easy, and it was kind of warm up for this. Because this thing is filled with sharp turns, and narrow pathways, and huge drops. So remember, just because you can speed up doesn't mean you should do it. Just because the best time is 1 minute and 30 seconds doesn't mean you have to beat it. Yeah, these pathways are 
quite narrow, and I wouldn't recommend speeding up unless you're very skilled with the motion control. Wait, oh my god, this is my, this is my favorite part. Wee! I'm upside down! This water is the final laws of physics! Yay! And anyway, a minute 20. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure most people can probably beat that time. So post a video response if you want to. Try to do it. But anyway, there's their star. And if you look over there, before we get our star, I like how it's on the top of the podium. There's a little thing star here. This is a really fun secret and you can use it to get a ton of star bets. So you might want to use it to get some Hungry Luna missions done. But like I said before, I already completed all the Hungry Luna missions and this is the last star. It, well, last star before the final level star that I'm getting. But it's still a fun way to, to go to go through the course that you just completed, which is kind of fun. But anyway, let's just get our gold medal. I mean star. Anyway, we've done everything. We completed the, we completed all six domes. We completed all the hungry lumas, and we completed the planet of trials. Now there's nothing left to do. To go to the center of the universe to help our special one. Yeah. Hmm. We've traversed the we traversed the, hmm, the rolling gizmo galaxy and its many colorful gears. We've traversed the electric labyrinth. I mean labyrinth, and we've conquered the galaxy's greatest wave. So next time on Super Mario Galaxy. We will finally be heading to the center of the universe to rescue our special one. I hope you'll join me next time for that. McMaster, out.